Good evening, you guys. I am your host, Infinite Child. And before the night ends, amen, I have to give us this word. You guys, I hope you are having a wonderful day. Happy Sunday to you all. And of course, we are out here being safe. But above anything, we are trusting the Lord that he walks with us anywhere we go. Amen. And so we shall not fear, right? So I, I want us to think about finding truth, right? And this word is for somebody, for someone, and this word is for me as well. And even for the unbelievers, I pray and hope that, you know, you find God, uh, that you seek God and believe the word. Believe the word. When the truth, how can I put this? You can't argue with the truth because the truth stands by itself. Amen. So you guys, finding truth, finding truth. If we lose, you know, it It kind of seems like um, I speak about the same things, but I want you guys to understand and hear because we do not war with flesh and blood. This is all spiritual and we have to discern differences and we have to grab hold onto the fruits of the spirit and walk with Christ, emulate Christ, even though we are not perfect, but we are equipped and we are able, capable, more than capable of doing that. But we have to trust the process. Amen. But if you lose any temper easily, you will never enjoy your day. You will never enjoy um, God, you know, in, in his presence. And God is meant for it. God meant for us to seek him to seek him out and seeking God with our whole heart and to find out who God is you know his character even though we read you know you know the book the bible is historical however you know being that what God have done for us given his only begotten son so we are part of the inheritance we are part of um the reconciliation through Jesus Christ. So seeking God with our whole heart. And, you know, sometimes, you know, things are happening with us spiritual and sometimes in the natural. But regardless what it may be, you know, we have God. We have Jesus Christ. And he is truth. And his word is truth. So anything that we're going through, you know, we could find the scripture and, and, and learn what God says about our situation. And stand on that. And, you know, the Holy Spirit would tell us, you know, we earnestly seek God and expect him to answer us. And if there's things that we are so much unsure about, you know, we, we pray to God and expect him to uh, give us the answer. You know, some things we may just not know and we need to seek God's approval or, you know, his guidance and direction. And so we ask, we ask wholeheartedly you know we ask what is wrong or what is it that we need to do to get right you know to to be in good standing to you know not only make ourselves feel feel good you know in the in the sight of God but what ultimately what God wants for us and the way to get free from things that upset you is to find truth and again truth stands by itself truth stands by itself family so, when we read the word, we know that the word is truth, right? And so, when we seek the word, we cannot, um, we we cannot be confrontation, be confrontational with the word. We cannot uh, um, seek to understand with our own carnal minds. We can't uh, um, take away from the word. We can't. Uh, put into the word God's word is his word and that's just it and it is truth the truth and it will set us free it will it would it definitely will set you free it will trust you me it will set it would set you free and believe in what God has said it will set you free family so we don't always want to Sometimes we don't want to face the truth, and we know truth hurts. Amen. Truth does hurt, but it's the truth. And again, sometimes we don't want to face it because it could be so painful, or we could, you know, question, you know, what the truth is. 
And sometimes it shows up that truth comes about so that we can learn the truth, that we know what truth is, and that is the word of God. And because truth is, it's because we need change. We have to change. And it can be painful sometimes, but you trust the process. And knowing that what God has for you and equipped you to, to do and whom he uh, created you to be, know that his plan, it will prevail and it's good for you. It's good for you, not our own doing or, or our own ways. Because we could fall into a folly a lot of times and we could just, you know, turn a blind eye to the truth. And it's not good for us, family. And again, it is painful. So change is painful, especially when it's something brand new. It's painful. And it can be challenging, but we're able to do so. Glory be to God, we are able to do so. And if you are, you know, your behaviors are bad and, you know, and you or you know of people who behave indifferently, badly, however you want to... Uh, uh, define that, you know, we can't make excuses. Uh, there there are, mm, excuses are basically non-existent. Like, that's just a part of our flesh, you know. We, we can't make excuses. We, we can't. And, you know, I've made excuses a few times. You know why uh, I used to drink or excuses why I tolerated uh, some, some person, uh, why I stuck around. Um, why I've done X, Y, Z, you know, but excuses, it's, they're excuses because you're making excuses for wrong behavior, but excuses will never make us free because we always going to ruminate over that and, and have these, what ifs I shouldn't have this, that, and the third, you know, it never sets us free. It never sets us free. So we let God get involved with our day. We let God get involved with with all things in our lives. And when you feel, you know, your temper about to flare or, you know, something is being uh, disgusting to you or or uh, something that may be afflicting you or uh, something that may not be so great, right, or unpleasant, we ask God to reveal the truth of the situation. And again, you know, uh, our intuition you know, we have to adhere to our intuition. And if you're feeling some type of way, sometimes the truth is in your face, you know. And again, some of us could be blinded by the truth. And or we know the truth, but we're just not going in the opposite direction. You know, that happens. That happens. But sometimes the truth is right there in your face. And if sometimes, you, if you are unsure about things, you know, ask God to, re to reveal the truth of the situation. The truth will always set you free to enjoy. The truth is, is, is amazing, you know, and it's, it's, it's wisdom and understanding. It's God's perception. It's how God view things. And as like we should too, you know, because... God is good for us, and God is good. God is good. So, you know, we always want to find the truth and let the truth set us free from any situation. And and, and, and let God, allow God to be God in your lives. Let God to be God. Amen? Your Lord, Lord of your life, and not just um, believe in what he's done for us, given giving us his only begotten son, you know, it's more to that family. So we always should find truth. Amen. And so I want to leave you with John chapter eight, verse 32 says, and you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. Meaning God will give you the truth. God will not withhold any truth from us. But that's if we want to know the truth and seek the truth. Amen. And believe God's word. Amen. Because family, I feel like you know, God's grace is, is is here. God's grace is for you. And some of us need to uh, reach for more grace, you know, accept more grace. And there's going to come a point in time where there will be none. There will be none. And if and when we see God's face, 
you will not be found. And that's in scripture. And so that's pretty, that it, it, it hurts my heart just to speak, to say that. But it's truth. And so I hope that all of us, you know, take the time out and to seek who God really is and know that God is for you. God is for us. And when he changes us, you know, it's going to sting. Yeah. But then he's equipping us. He's transforming us, the renewing of our mind and the things that, you know, we're so used to doing those things that he does not want us to do. Amen. Because there's a better life that he has for you in and through Jesus Christ. And we have to trust all things. Amen. So I hope this word blesses you. I hope this word finds you where you are. And if it resonates with you guys, give a thumbs up. Uh, share the video. Like the video. Or what have you. Uh, or, and listen to other content on here. But let's all pray for each other. And know that God is God. God says, I am that I am. Glory be to God. You guys trust the process and trust God with everything. Doesn't matter what it looks like. Trust God with everything. I'm trusting him for plenty things, for plenty things. And the same with you. He wants to do something new with you and to bless your life so that you can not only enjoy the earth that he provided for us and all things therein. But after this life, after the, after this life, to enjoy eternity with him. To enjoy eternity. Amen. So you guys, you be safe. Enjoy your Sunday. Be a blessing unto others and know that you are blessed. I will check in with you later. I am Infinite Child. We shall talk soon. Have a good night. Peace.